Is he still Is he alive? He was he when Olga brought him in. I've checked, I've checked everything, everything, including the genome, genome data, data, but there's nothing on this guy. NSA, CIA, FBI. He doesn't exist in any database. He's a non-existent operative from a non-existent organization. I suspected as much. However, I know this man. Hmm? Wake him up. It's been a while, hasn't it? Jack the Ripper. You know this fellow? You remember me, don't you? You've grown. <laughs> High concentration of cerebral implants. Have they altered your memory, too? This is my son. I taught him everything. Jack, I never thought I'd see you again. You... know me? You don't remember. Your name, your skills. Everything you know, you learn from me. The 80s. A civil war. You were one of the best among the child soldiers that fought in that conflict. When you were barely 10 years old, you became the platoon leader of the small boy unit. At the time, your outstanding kill record earned you several nicknames, including White Devil and Jack the Ripper. Jack, I was your godfather. I named you. When the war ended, you disappeared from the relief center. I wondered what happened to you. I should have known they would recruit you. It's an interesting coincidence. If he's a lackey for the Patriots, I doubt he knows anything of interest. What should we do with him? We'll use him like you suggested. What about Dead Cell? Ignore them. <laughs> Happening again? Could it be that he's here too? <laughs> In another hour, we demonstrate the power of Arsenal gear. Attack with standard weapons, of course. Yes, proceed as planned. At last report, all is well with GW. Hmm. How about the troops? The men are being refitted with Arsenal gear equipment as ordered. You're the spitting image of Big Boss. <laughs> Is that so? Perhaps I should be grateful to this kid for that. This situation, I find it very nostalgic. Where? Am I? Why, inside Arsenal gear, of course. Actually, we're also inside the memory of Shadow Moses. I'll take this back. You don't need this anymore, do you? A foul wind is blowing. We shall speak again. Don't move. Stay as you are. We're being monitored by a camera. What are you up to? 
I'm switching over to nanocommunication. Mr. X? Ninja? Correct. It's me. I thought you were the leader of the Russian troops. No. That was just a smokescreen. A smokescreen? I was sent to provide you support. Support? Who sent you? The Colonel? No. The Patriots. What? I... I deceived my troops. Betrayed them. But why? My child is... being held hostage by the Patriots. It all started two years ago when I lost my father, during the tanker incident. My men and I had nowhere to go. So we joined forces with an illegal Russian organization. The Russian Mafia? Something like that, actually. I learned much later that it was a subordinate organization of the Patriots. I was expecting at the time. When I gave birth to my child, it turned out I was in a hospital run by the Patriots. In the morning, my child was gone. My baby is being kept somewhere in this country. Have you ever met your child? No. Once a month, they send me a photo of my child via network. I've never even held the child in my own arms. I see. Given your situation, nobody can blame you for what you did. That's your opinion. What about Snake? I thought you were enemies. He wasn't responsible for my father's death. Actually, we owe him our lives. Two years ago, they were responsible for getting us out of the sinking tanker alive. So you were partners since the incident? No, I only found out the truth shortly before this. Huh? When I confronted him here. You fought with Snake? When? Well, it was around the time you were holding hands with that girl. Snake. So you joined hands with him to pay back a debt? No, mutual gain. Mutual gain? My job was to assist you. If Solidus gets away with Arsenal, your mission is a failure. The Patriots would judge that as failure on my part and terminate my child. Putting it simply, my child's life depends on your success. So you did it all for your child. But why would the Patriots want to help me? Are they hoping I'll take Solidus out? No, you're just like me. We're just pawns. Pawns for what purpose? The S3 plan. Huh? You'll figure it out sooner or later, but I wonder if you'll handle the truth. What do you mean? Listen, we haven't got time for this. Solidus will commence his attack any minute. He's got to be stopped. What about the virus? No results so far. I think the Patriots have tampered with the program. Will it work? I don't know. Get me out of this thing. Not yet. I'll release your restraints after I leave this room. Where's my gear? Snake's got everything. I couldn't bring it here. And where do I find Snake? The passageway ahead leads to a hangar. He'll be waiting there. I gave him a card key for the hangar. Does Snake plan to destroy Arsenal gear? No. Even for Snake, it's impossible to completely destroy this thing. The only option is to stop Solidus and his men. What are you going to do? Stay concealed. That's my role. I still can't afford to be discovered. Olga, you can't keep this up. They're bound to find you. Listen, I'll free you in a little while. Brace yourself. <clears throat> All right, that took a while. That was nine, nine minutes. Nine minutes in, it's my fucking intro. This is that guy, right? This is Let's Play Metal Gear Solid 2. The Sons of Liberty. In the last episode, we found out how much of a pervert Otacon is, and we just got loaded onto that. All that Jack, crap. are you all right? Oh, uh, oh here comes yeah. some more. Jack, is it true? What Solidus said? Yes. It's unbelievable. Drafting small children, sending them to war? It's not allowed under international conventions. ICC rules don't mean a lot in war. Someone told me that there are over 300,000 children in combat right now. I was just one of them. So you remember. 
I thought your memory had been manipulated by them. It was, but I have nightmares every day. Pieces of the past I can't put together. Why didn't you tell me? You couldn't begin to understand. You wouldn't know that until you try me. I didn't want you to get hurt. <sighs> there was never a real reason for me to fight, except that someone put a gun in my hand. And that someone was him. It wasn't your fault. If I survived the day's fight, I was praised, fed, and had a bed to sleep in. I think I was only six when I held my first AK. But I'm not even sure of that. Jack. I'm not like Snake. I never questioned why we fought. There was no purpose, no way out. They give you a gun, you ask how many to kill. If you didn't, you were the one they shot instead. It's okay. No one is blaming you. We were shown Hollywood action films every day. The kind with macho guys and big guns. They call it image training. Ugh. They... They built us from the ground up into killing machines. We were fed once a day. I can still taste the gunpowder they mixed into the food. Gunpowder? In the food? The gunpowder had toluene in it, giving it hallucinogenic properties. It kept us drugged, controllable. Oh my god. <sighs> when the Civil War ended, those of us who survived were taken in by NGOs. They gave me a new life in the States. I can't complain. But nothing's changed. The only people who have no problem with my past have secrets and agendas of their own. Terrible nightmares. Every night. I can never forget. Jack. I'm afraid of the night. That's why I don't sleep next to you. You should have told me. Told you what? That I'm a killer? And always have been? No. No. What I hate more than anything else in the world is my own past. I didn't want you or anyone to know about it. <laughs> now I know why I was chosen for this mission. No one can take him on, take him down, except me. I've been kept alive this long for this. I knew as soon as I saw Solidus. Jack, I love you the way you are now. You have to believe me. <sighs> I didn't know anything about you, I admit that. Where you were born, how you grew up. But I know that now. And I know that what I feel for you can only get better. And I'll share in your past if that's the price. It doesn't work that way. No one can share the burden of what I've done. It's not one of those warm and fuzzy things couples share. I accept the good and the bad, Jack. That's what you do for someone you love. I don't want to share my past with anyone. I just want to forget about it. Jack, I haven't told you, you know, about what I've done. <sighs> the last two years with you, it's been more than I've ever hoped for. Jack. But I can't go any farther. I know you want to get married. I... But I can't. I can't risk starting a family. There's no way to erase my childhood. <laughs> it's all right, Jack. Please, don't say any more. All right, after all that, I am debating whether or not I should end off right here and look at riding. You have to go around. <laughs> all right, let's see. There's stuff around here we have, we have to grab. Cold medicine. We're going to need that because it's cold in here. Okay. Can't go that way. Can't go that way. If I remember right, there's a ration around here somewhere. Right out there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, we have to sneak around this place. He's completely naked. With no clothes on. <laughs> 
Yeah, like this. Get the nerd. Probably the last nerd in the game. Arsenal Gear Jejunium. Raiden, do you copy? You must continue your m mission. I've lost all my gear. I need to locate Snake. He was never factored into the simulation. Leave him out of this. I can't do much naked, especially in this temperature. That's true. You won't be able to attack or enter the hanging mode either. I think Snake has my gear. Raiden, take out Solidus and his men. You must recover Arsenal intact. Colonel, are you under orders from the Patriots? Your role, that is, mission, is to infiltrate the structure and disarm the terrorists. My role? Why do you keep saying that? Why not? This is a type of role-playing game. The point <laughs> is that you play out your part, and I expect you to turn in a perfect performance. Colonel, I just remembered something. What? That I've never met you in person. Not once. Hmm. Complete your mission, according to the simulation. Colonel, who are you? No more questions. We have Rosemary. What do you mean by that? Over and out. Well, that was creepy. We can't attack or anything. We, can't, we cannot strangle people and break their necks. See? So we gotta sneak around everybody. Oh, there's a stairwell here I've never even noticed. Huh. Well, that's weird. Alright. And we're fucking... Okay. Right. Turn the game console off right now. What did you say? The mission is a failure. Cut the power right now. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Don't worry. It's a game. It's a game just like usual. You'll ruin your eyes playing so close to the TV. What are you talking about? Raiden, something happened to me last Thursday when I was driving home. I had a couple of miles to go. I looked up and saw a glowing orange object in the sky to the east. It was moving very irregularly. Suddenly, there was intense light all around me. And when I came to, I was home. What do you think happened to me? Huh? Fine. Forget it. Well, that was weird. And it's going to get increasingly weird. Fucking fourth wall breaking. Infiltrate the enemy fortress. Outer heaven. Destroy the final weapon. Metal Gear. Well, that was strange. Thing is, that's from the first Metal Gear game on the MSX. And that was not the Colonel telling you to do that. That was Big Boss. So, might... A little bit of a continuity issue there. Get it, get it right there across there because we don't have any can camel fly. Well, now we got camel. That <laughs> zone of the Enders, I love it. <laughs> Is there somebody there? No, there's not. <laughs> Even my patience has its limits. I just can't leave this thing up to you any longer. I'll do the fighting. You can just go home. Oh. <laughs> huh? Uh-oh. Hmm. Shit. He's looking in the box. He's got his. Oh no! He's disappointed he didn't get his Antonio Banderas life size blow up doll. Crap. Crap. The ration out. Not the time, Colonel. Variety level 13. Rescue Meryl. The return of Ginola.
Stop, stop, stop. Stop shooting me. I can't attack. I'm unarmed. Okay, ascending colon. We are in the butt of Arsenal gear. We are in its butthole. I hear it's amazing <laughs> when the famous purple stuffed worm in Flagjaw space with the tuning fork does a raw blink on Harry Carey Rock. I need scissors. 61. <laughs> Alright. Had to do. Oh, crap. Come on. I'm trying to. My anus is bleeding here, so. Honestly, though, you have played the game for a long time. Don't you have anything else to do with your time? Shut up, Colonel. Oh, come on. Your mission is to infiltrate the Fortress Galluade, rescue the hostages, and neutralize Metal Gear before its assembly is complete. That's from Metal Gear 2 on the MSX. And I'll take it. Okay, that was weird. Of course, this entire thing is weird. An anemone or clematis plant's juice can cause a rash. When pruning them, it's a good idea to wear gloves. Ah, well, whatever. I was a North American fall webworm in my past life. Oh, those were the good old days. What were you in your former life? <laughs> well, that's just weird. Come on. Actually, there is something I have been meaning to tell you, but I just couldn't. I think you should know, though. On Saturday morning last week, I saw a guy leaving Rosemary's room. How should I put it? It was like they were... intimate. I'm sorry. Sorry to bring this up during the mission, but... Ah, <sighs> it's just weird. Oh, come on. I'm just doing all these, you know, for fun. Jack, it's me. Hi, Rose. Jack, I owe you an apology. If it's about that conversation just now, I'm the one who's sorry. No, it's something else. What is it? That day at Federal Hall two years ago, it wasn't a coincidence. I was ordered to keep an eye on you. Keep an eye on me? Yes, by the Patriots. You're a spy? I suppose, yes. It's an ugly word. Are you still there? Was sleeping with me a part of the job? I fell in love with you. How could anyone? I can't excuse what I did. I've reported every detail of your personal life to them these two years. What you did, said, everything. Must have been fun. But some things I didn't tell anyone. Oh. Like what I felt for you. So that's why you were involved in this mission. I should have known. Why else would they toss an analyst into the mix at the last minute? I'm sorry. I know what I did was wrong. No matter where I go, I get used. I reinvented myself to suit your tastes. Hairstyle, clothes, the way I moved, things I talked about. You say you love the color of my hair, my eyes. They're not even real. You must have gone over my psych profile with a fine-tooth comb. It was my job. Great performance. Had me completely fooled. What I really wanted was for you to see the real me. It hurt to play out this, this artificial romance. It was worse to lie to myself than to you. The more love you gave me, the more it hurt. Because I knew the person you loved was just a character. So it was artificial on my end, too. It was just a game, not the real thing. Oh, Jack. I feel better knowing that. What? I was in love, or thought I was, with someone who didn't exist. I was trying to be someone I wasn't by loving what wasn't real. 
I don't know who you really are. The person I knew isn't real. She's not the woman I'm talking to right now. In a sense, the deception was my own, not theirs. Jack, I thought I was acting because that was my job. But I did fall in love with you. That wasn't an act. You expect me to believe that? <sighs> it's okay. You had your reasons, right? Hey, I understand. But I have nothing left to... Jack! What? I'm... I'm carrying... I'm pregnant, Jack. Rose! What's going on? Well, that was weird. Amazing how you walk around like that. Snake! Been waiting long. Where's my gear? Right over there. That's more like it. Everything you had when you were captured is still there. Sorry about earlier. I had to use you as bait to gain access to Arsenal. It worked. Why didn't you tell me about Olga? You never asked. Ugh. Not happy about that? Get over it. Any effects of the virus yet? Still waiting on that. So, it was rigged by the Patriots? Looks like it. From what I can tell, Arsenal is headed for Manhattan. I don't know what Solidus is planning, but we'll have to deal with it one way or another. There's also a troop of production model rays ahead. How many units? 25, according to Olga. 25? Yeah. Can't say I've faced that many Metal Gears before, but I think we can deal. No way we can. We can, because we have no other choice. How? I've stocked up on Stinger missiles. Oh yeah, Olga left this for you. Why? Olga asked me to give it to you. Besides, I'm not a big fan of blades. Move the right stick up and down to make a vertical slice, and left and right to slice parallel to the ground. Move the stick in a circle to do a rotating cut. Push it forward to lunge and strike. You can guard with your blade if you have the L1 button pressed down. You should be able to deflect a bullet or two. All right, we are given a freaking new gameplay mechanic this late in the game. It doesn't make sense. I mean, kind of a glaring issue there. At least now we can defend ourselves. <laughs> okay, Snake, sorry about that. <laughs> Alright. Let's go. Okay, we can't go. Well, with that, I'm going to end off right here. In the next episode, we'll be um, getting closer to fighting the, that massive troop of Metal Gear Rays. So, this is that guy on the right. I'm Link! <laughs>